While regular screenings are critical to identifying and treating breast cancer early, it's also important to be aware of any genetic mutations that already exist in your body so you can be informed of your risk of developing cancer. Genetic testing identifies inherited mutations, including mutations found in the BRCA genes, the BRCA genes. We're joined by oncologist Dr. Joanne Mortimer and patient Jessica, who was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2023. So Dr. Mortimer, good afternoon. Uh, what is an inherited BRCA mutation and its role in breast cancer? Yeah, I think to understand what a mutation in this gene means, you need to understand what the normal function of these genes are. So uh, BRCA is a gene that is responsible for ensuring that when cells get old, when they get damaged, that they repair and they repair effectively and back to normal. When there is a, a defect in, in these genes, cells do not repair normal and they may become haywire and cause cancer. And so a mutation in a BRCA gene is associated with an increased risk of a number of different types of cancer, but especially breast cancer. As, as one in 10 breast cancers are associated with a BRCA mutation. Okay, so who should get genetic testing? So to the, the most obvious group of people who get genetic testing are individuals who have cancer. And the recommendation is that anybody with a breast cancer who's 65 or less should have BRCA testing performed. Um, but as you'll hear from, from Jessica, you know, if you, somebody in your family does have a BRCA mutation, you want the family members tested too because if they have a BRCA mutation, they may be at increased risk for cancer as well and that would entail in more sort of intensive surveillance to make sure that if you develop cancer, you find it when it's highly treatable. How can knowing your status impact patient care? So it, knowing the status of your BRCA, you know, first and foremost uh, impacts the initial treatment of breast cancer. So, you know, women who have a BRCA mutation often opt to have bilateral surgery so that they're not at risk for a, a second uh, breast cancer. So it influences your initial treatment. It influences the family, uh, obviously. Um, and surveillance, um, but there are targeted therapies that are very effective that in individuals who have BRCA mutations, and these may also be part of a treatment for a variety of different types of breast of cancer, including breast cancer. Can you tell us about the BBRC Aware campaign? Yeah, so so we have partnered with AstraZeneca, who has a website bbracaaware.com, B-E-B-R-C-A ware.com which is a website which is uh, filled with really valuable information about genetic testing about cancers and the role of targeted therapy in cancers as well well jessica you were diagnosed with breast cancer last year so why did you decide to undergo genetic testing um so i actually had the genetic testing done um before i was diagnosed with breast cancer uh, about 12 years ago um, and the reason i did it at that time was because my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer um so you know at that point when she met with her doctor to discuss next steps um, we talked you know they talked more about family history um, and at that point, it seemed like a good decision for, for her to do the genetic testing. So my mother was uh, positive for the BRCA mutation. Um, so then I had the test done as well, and I was also positive. Um, and I was pretty young at the time, but um, you know, I made the decision to kind of take charge of my health and start making a plan going forward. So I met with um, her doctor, who then became my doctor. Um, and we, you know, we just kind of laid out what the future would look like as far as screenings go. Um, so then I started to have, I had mammograms and MRIs six months apart. Um, and then, you know, unfortunately I was diagnosed with breast cancer last year, um, but fortunately it was a very early stage. Um, uh, but then, you know, knowing the, the, my BRCA status, I think did help in catching you know this early um, but it also helped me to uh, work with my doctor to, to make decisions about my care after diagnosis as well. And Jessica what do you want others to know about genetic testing? Um, I think the biggest thing is to just 
talk to your doctor about it because, you know, as I mentioned, we had no idea what BRCA was, you know, in my family 12 years ago. Um, so if someone in your family has uh, breast cancer, um, then I think it's a great idea, you know, even if proactively you want to go get tested just so that you, um, you can understand your own you know your own genetics um and then if if that means that you know you start getting screened earlier um it's just really about you know kind of talking with your doctor understanding you know the test and what it means um and then you know just kind of like you know empowering yourself to 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 be closely monitored okay so the big question how are you feeling today I'm doing well. Um, you know, last year was a rough year with uh, surgeries, um, but right now I'm, you know, I'm happy. I'm healthy. I'm active. Um, so things are things are pretty good. Dr. Martimer, where can others go for more information? So again, the the bebracaaware.com, b-e-b-r-c-a-w-a-r-e.com uh, website has a, a lot of really valuable information at that website. All right, great tips to talk about. Dr. Mortimer and Jessica, thank you so much for uh, spending time with us and also sharing your stories. Thank you. Thank you.